horseman should learn how to put a bridle together. So I'm going to show you how. Hi, this is Sarah from ActionRiderTac.com and I'm going to show you the parts of the bridle and how to put it together. We start with the crown piece. This is the part that goes behind the ears of the horse. And it's very helpful to know how to do this, especially when it comes time to cleaning. So the crown piece hangs, the cheek piece is here, and the throat latch is attached. And this is the brow band. And so I'm going to feed through the throat latch into the brow band. cheek piece and then the other side so now we have the crown piece and the brow band and I'll add the cheek pieces next and they simply buckle on this is what attaches to the bit cheek pieces to each side So now we have the crown piece, the brow band, and the cheek pieces. This is the throat latch, which would go uh, obviously underneath the throat. And then these particular cheek pieces have a buckle, and that's where we hang the bit. This happens to be a traditional English bridle, and this is a happens to be a French snaffle made by Meyer Dip Company. It's very horse friendly bit. These cheek pieces, I really do like buckles instead of bridle hooks. Buckles are easier and I feel they're sturdier. Now with just this attached, we have a brow band and the crown piece and the cheek pieces and the bit. This is the throat latch here. Um, and some people would call this whole setup, actually without the bit, a head stall. That's more of a, a Western term but that is called a head stall. Uh, but tr a traditional English bridle will also have a cavisson, or some people call it a noseband. This is the cavisson, or noseband, but actually the noseband is this piece that goes around the nose. The whole thing is called the cavisson. This is a traditional plain cavisson, and it runs, so this is the only tricky part, it runs inside the head stall and has to be fed inside the loop of the brow band. So we'll put that through. And estimate where it would hang, which is just a little bit above the bit there. And this simply buckles as well. So those are all buckles. And then we would simply attach our reins here. Now, in a <clears throat> for a very traditional look, in a tack room, I'm going to show you how to hang a bridle. And um, traditionally, we only hang the bridle in this fashion if the bridle is clean. And that's how somebody else who goes into your tack room will know that your bridle is clean. So what we do, which is really kind of a lovely look, is to figure eight the throat latch around the bridle and attach it on the other side. And then we take the nose band and put that around the bridle. And this would be a very traditional, correct way to hang your bridle in your tack room. For that put away look. Rider Tack, we'd love to answer any questions you might have about horses, tack, or any related subject. Please send us an email at info 
at actionwritertech.com. Thank you.